The Tiki Haiwa Trust is a proactive rehabilitation centre for some of nature's smaller creatures in trouble, with a particular emphasis on the incredibly rare pangolin. The Trust currently looks after seven pangolin, as well as other creatures, and their main objective is ultimately releasing these animals back into the wild at full health. So what they're doing now is eating termites. Um, this is before they go for a walk. So once they wake up around about midday, um, the pangolins come out um, and then they get fed their artificial diet first. And then once they've had their artificial diet, they go for an hour to an hour and a half walk for enrichment and obviously eating natural food. The aim with all the pangolin is to obviously get them back into good condition and good health and then release them back into the wild. Obviously all pangolin will be transmitted um, and so that we can learn more about their habits, natural habits, and make sure that they're safe. Obviously the safety is a big factor with the amount of increased trade throughout the world. In the same boat as the rhino, pangolins are sadly highly sought after by the misinformed Chinese for aphrodisiac properties in their scales even though they consist of carotene only. This makes them critically endangered. With this in mind, these pangolin will ultimately be released into massive wildlife reserves, far from human interference. Over the course of a year, this one-hour documentary aims to capture some of the very unknown behaviours of pangolin, particularly their nocturnal behaviour, feeding habits, defence techniques, homemaking skills and rare mating scenes. This will be made possible through microchipping the released pangolin. We are confident this one hour special will engage a large captive audience as the subject is so unknown We've got Champia and Fakile, and they've just been for their walks and now they're getting their, their bottles, which has got a whole bunch of nutritious stuff. Um, they only get to walk two and a half hours. So usually in the wild, they probably walk a little bit longer and, and get a few more ants and things. So this is just a little extra nutrition for them. You can see his tongue. They love this stuff. Captured by the award-winning God Done It Promotions crew, filmed in glorious high definition, underground cameras and a high-speed camera, we are confident to take you deeper into the mysterious world of the secretive pangolin.